I'm Alan Mendelson. You know me as being the financial reporter for the CBS television stations in Los Angeles. Now I want you to meet certified financial planner Brian Gilder, who has a warning about dealing with a financial advisor. I think some of these financial advisors are out there with a loaded gun. For the life of me, I don't understand how a financial advisor cannot understand a tax return. I think if a financial advisor does not understand how to read your tax return, they have no business giving you any financial advice whatsoever. It's just not appropriate in my opinion. They've got to look at your tax return. You have to. How can, it, how, how can you determine if tax-free bonds versus taxable bonds, what to sell, what type of mutual funds you're going to sell, creating unnecessary capital gains taxes? It is just, I don't understand for the life of me why we do not make advisors understand tax returns. What are some of the qualifications you should be looking for? Definitely want a CFP because... Certified financial planner. Certified financial planner because it is rigorous schooling involved. There is a two-day exam. It's about a 10-hour exam. I know I took it. It's a difficult exam. There's a lot of advisors out there claiming they have credentials that really don't add up to anything, in my opinion, because they can go to a class for one day, get a certificate, pay a fee, and they have a credential. And they're going out there with loaded weapons, in my opinion, giving people advice that, in my opinion, is not the best advice. Tell me about the difference between offensive advice versus defensive advice. When people talk to me, they always ask me, what's the best investment? Where should I put my money? And before you can do anything with investments, you need to take a few steps back and think about your insurance, your credit cards. You need to have emergency put away. You have to put six to nine months away in an emergency account. And most advisors never, ever recommend this to clients. And it, it baffles my mind how you can make a good offensive game by talking about how great these mutual funds are, how great the stocks are. But you could have the greatest stock portfolio in the world, but a couple days in a hospital mixed in with a surgery and you don't have good health insurance, that investment portfolio is gone. And you're also talking about the importance of good insurance like life insurance. Life insurance is extremely important. I mean, you think you, you when you think about it, if you have two children, a spouse, a mortgage, you need a you need to protect. You need protection. You need a good defensive plan because if something, God forbid, happens to you, you need life insurance. Your investment portfolio can only go so far. You need protection. And I think we have a on insurance, I think we lack a tremendous amount of knowledge because we assume that advisor, we just use an insurance agent, but if you want a full-blown financial plan, which I think people need, especially in today's environment, you need that protection. You can get more information from certified financial planner Brian Gilder. Call him at 310-804-3767. Again, 310-804-3767. Or write to him at 8383 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 240, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. I'm Alan Mendelson. Thanks for watching.